Hello everybody, my name is Matti Latvaho and I'm director for 6G flagship program run at the University of Oulu. I'm going to talk to you about some of the key drivers and challenges related to 6G. Uh, related to our program, you have a, a chance to um, look for some of our recent materials at 6gchannel.com website, where we have published, for example, uh, some months ago, 12 6G white papers. And very recently, we have also released 6G Waves magazine of various articles and stories about us. We are also running currently a series of 6G webinars where all of these white papers are being discussed. Uh, within an international arena. Uh, to start with 6G goals, we have to look at what are the key drivers for it. And we do believe strongly that United Nations Sustainability Development Goals is a nice, a solid starting point for it. And uh, related to sustainability, technology and technical solutions at various as sites of and aspects of, of modern societies will be a key role in achieving those. And that's why when talking about 6G technologies, we are really inherently solving UN sustainability development goals. And uh, by following those and doing our job in developing new technologies and solutions of various sorts, I think we uh, can all get to some new business opportunities uh, for different verticals uh, which are critical for for uh, future societies. So actually this picture captures all the specific areas that we have touched upon um, in our recent 12 white papers and I'm going to talk about some of those a little bit more specifically. We do believe that Verticals are changing the really the value change for the future, and we need something besides a good old mobile network operators in order to move faster towards uh, um, new vertical areas that are necessary for improving uh, productivity of, of different parts of, of society. There will be new applications, new value chains will emerge around those, and, and um, it will be interesting to see how much world will be different uh, already with 5G era, not to mention 6G era in 2030s. So verticals will be changing some of the current dominant value chain st structures. Um, regulation policy is important enabler for making future innovations possible and allowing existence and birth, first of all, of new verticals and value chains. Just to mention one aspect of regulation policies is um, spectrum regulation, where we have to understand that lower part of the spectrum is heavily regulated already and spectrum has been given mainly to mobile network operators, but we have a great chances at higher spectrum parts to, to, to have different novel regulation policies and to allow uh, vertical driven open ecosystems taking place more and more in the future. Um, these white papers that I mentioned earlier, they have been developed in two consecutive uh, 60 wireless summits, um, one taking place last year and one this year. And by the way, the next one will take place uh, in conjunction with EU CNC conference in Porto, Portugal in June. And uh, with a group of 250 experts coming from 30 countries and 100 organizations, we really developed uh, uh, those recent 12 white papers. The first white paper from 2019 was looking at high level KPIs that we really would require besides these technical drivers and KPIs that have been already present with 4G and 5G systems. The new KPIs that we are talking about are related to uh, ethics or UNSTG uh, inspired KPIs, uh, privacy, security, trust KPIs, transparency of system KPIs, and so forth and so forth. So these are really different from 
these uh, previous ones and they are bringing kind of a soft feeling a soft nature for for uh, 6g development goals this uh, outcome of the second summit uh, came up with these 12 white papers i'm not going to go through them all of them because of lack of time i'm just picking up some of those uh, which might be of specific interest in in the sequel but all of these white papers can be downloaded from our website 60channel.com uh, when we look at the importance of verticals uh, this table shows uh, some typical uh, and important vertical areas of various sorts uh, and uh, related to each of these vertical areas um, some assumptions strong assumptions have been made related to the types of services that have been discussed in the white paper and uh, as we can see overall um, the technical target values is it uh, data rate or latency or chitter or, or mobility level or capacity they vary hugely from vertical to another so it's a clear indication that um, uh, if we have uniform design targets irrespective of the types of verticals that we are thinking about for the future use we are never going to optimize the solution for that particular vertical application so we have to really take into account seriously the different types of requirements coming from different verticals broadband connectivity challenges uh, are described on the left hand side of this table very typical um, which are already a little bit present in 5g and more so in in, in now in 6g era and uh, the technical solutions to meet these challenges are in the middle and uh, as we can see it's just glancing through the different types of topics discussed here we see that there's nothing drastically new under the sun there is some sub terahertz communications intelligent reflective surfaces visible light communications massive mimo is still the machine learning self-free massive mimo and so forth and so forth but what is really a big challenge and and should be taken much more seriously in 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 research is to look at implementational challenges and issues related to making this really happening how do we make this really real life and that's that's a greatest challenge of all of course we have to still do high quality academic research in in solving some some of the fundamental issues related to each of these there are a lot of opportunities related to localization and sensing related to future mobile systems as we are moving to higher and higher frequencies where this uh, the resolution for position positioning uh, is potentially much much higher and there are other also in, important features in the future systems like uh, bringing in the intelligence to be part of the networks having these really dense uh, antenna arrays or having these smart uh, meta surfaces reflecting our signals so these are really changing the game in such a way that we can start to think about something quite unique and complicated we are no longer talking about only uh, radio positioning but we are talking about 3d imaging with radio signals we can start to think about developing joint communication and radar systems uh, but of course there are these already mentioned implementation challenges related to high frequency signals and uh, and and those are really important to understand and tackle at early enough phase uh, in order to come up with practical solutions for the future remote area connectivity is important to take into account in the in the beginning of 6g development era 
digital divide is increasing around the world and uh, we have seen that we have uh, these days already a lot of societal challenges and uh, having a proper connectivity solutions is a key to try to uh, overcome this digital divide. Um, we need to have sufficient technical solutions to make it happen. We need also different regulative uh, decisions and, uh, and we need different types of business models. Financing is a challenge. We need cooperation between different stakeholders in order to make it happen. Backhauling is quite often really the biggest challenge of all. And we may have uh, places where we don't have any backhaul. We just have a local isolated uh, private network, so to say. But the, the local community can have a, a really great digital services being run at, at the uh, local community. Uh, we have also, we have to understand that we are not necessarily always talking about uh, the ultimate mobile broadband services in these remote areas, but we need a sufficient level for service quality at affordable uh, cost. So that is really what we are looking at. Thank you for your time and patience.